Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make some vegetable bean chili. Now for starters, when we're making this chili, we have some vegetables here to cut up. And I have chopped up one large bell pepper, two medium to large carrots, one medium sized yellow onion, four cloves of garlic, these were, these were on the large side, and two stalks of celery. You can leave them like this if you want with fairly finely chopped, but I like to take it one step further and I'm going to put these in a food processor and grate them up a lot finer. They'll cook better that way and uh, they'll, they'll blend better into this chili. So I just prefer it that way. You may do it that way. I suggest you do it this way. But if you don't want to, you can leave them like this. So I'm going to process these and put them in our pot and then we'll move from there. All right? you can see that my vegetables have been ground up. No, they're not liquefied and if some of the pieces are still a little bit bigger, hey, no big deal, that's okay. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. I have two cups of vegetable broth here. You can use one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes or two of the smaller 14, 15 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. And then we want six tablespoons of tomato paste. Now that's half of a six ounce can. If you have to open a can to do this, don't fret. The other six tablespoons that are in the can can be frozen. You can freeze them by the tablespoon on a plate. When they're frozen, take them off the plate, put them in a plastic bag in the freezer and they will wait for you very patiently. And then we want three cans of beans of your choice. You want to rinse them and drain them. I've mixed them up a little bit. You can use whatever you want. I've got one can of black beans. And in this bowl, I have one can of kidney beans and one can of navy beans. You can use all, all the same kind of beans or you could mix it up into whatever you want. And then we want to add some flavoring in here. I have one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of dried basil, and this is optional. I've got a half a teaspoon of sea salt, pink sea salt there. You can leave that out if you want or just it's to taste really. And I'm going to put this on the stove and allow this to cook down. And we're going to allow it to cook for about an hour. And then I will show you what this looks like when it's all done. Our chili has simmered for right at one hour. And I want you to see how nice everything is cooked together. Now there's one more step. We have two teaspoons of red wine vinegar that I'm going to stir into this and that's our finishing touch there. Now you see that it's not a real smooth kind of chili. If you want to, you can smooth it out a little bit either with a stick blender in there to blend it up a little bit and break up some of these beans or you could take a little bit out and put it in a blender and just blend it that way and then return that blended portion to the pot and it will help to smooth it all out a little bit. But there it is. I'm going to go ahead and scoop some out into a bowl here, a little plate, and you'll be able to see what it looks like. Plate it up. And there is our finished chili, ready to go. You could throw some crackers in there. My husband loves to do that. You could Top it with a little bit of cheese if you want to. Maybe a couple avocado slices would also be good on there. However you like to serve your chili, this is ready to go. Well, the recipe is below. Do give this a try sometime and let me know how it works for you. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.